we're talking about how to beat staleness. How do you stay fresh? How do we stay fresh? Our primary passage we're looking at is John chapter 15, and hopefully you'll read that on your own. And we just got into the introduction of it last week, but we left last time on red glasses by asking this question. Are you, am I, are we connected to Jesus Christ, the true vine? Do you have a connection? Is he in you? Are you having a relationship with him? So let's talk about that for a minute. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses uh, 12 through the end of that chapter, and the first three uh, verses of chapter 3, 1 Corinthians 2, this is what the scripture says. It says, um, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit of him who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in the words taught by human wisdom, but in words taught by the spirit, expressing spiritual truth in spiritual words. The man or the individual, the woman, the man without the spirit, the Holy Spirit, does not accept the things that come from the spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. So now he's describing this person that could be called a natural man or a natural woman. They're not connected to Christ. Christ does not live in them. So therefore, when they read this Bible or go to church or hear things about the Lord, it doesn't compute. It sounds a lot like a bunch of gibberish to them. It just doesn't connect. Then he goes on and says in verse 15, the spiritual man, that means a person that has Christ in his life or her life, the spiritual person makes judgments about all things, but he himself is not subject to any man's judgment. And it says we have the mind of Christ. And so now this is the spiritual person, the spiritual man or woman. This is the person at some point in their life, they have asked Christ to come into their lives. They are connected to him. The very God of the universe lives in their lives. But then he goes on to name another person. Chapter 3, verse 1, Brothers, sisters, I could not address you as spiritual, those who have a relationship with Christ, but as worldly, more mere infants in Christ. I gave you milk, not solid food, for you were not yet ready for it. Indeed, you are not still ready. You are still worldly. For since there is a jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not worldly? So in other words, he's saying now we have a person that he would call the carnal man. They're connected to Christ, but they're simply not growing in their faith and in their relationship with Christ. So here's the question. Are you the natural man or woman, not connected? Are you the spiritual man or woman, you know Christ and you're growing? Or are you the carnal person, the man connected to Christ, but you're just floundering and you're not developing and maturing and growing in Christ. You're either one of the three. Which one are you? And if you are that person, that natural person that's not connected, I pray that you will ask Jesus Christ to come into your life and get connected and stay connected, and that's what abiding is. You think about that, and we'll talk more about this next week.